welcome to my channel. So today is going to be a makeup tutorial, but I wanted to get in depth more on the Supernova shadows from ColourPop. I recently purchased these. I have used the lighter shade a lot lately, but this is the first time that I have... Thank God they're not glass. This is the first time that I've used the darker ones, and I really love these shadows. I feel like they are very close to the Stella ones, and they're super affordable and very easy to work with. So, if you would like to see this video and how I use the Supernova shadows, just stay tuned and keep watching. For my primer today, I'm going to be using the Veil Mineral Primer. I really like this primer because it's very buttery and smooth on your skin. It does a really good job of hydrating and just making your face super, super smooth and silky. As you can see, I am a little pasty today, so I'm going to be using one of the lighter shades of the Wet n Wild foundation that I have. And this is the shade Golden Beige, and I will be applying it with my new favorite thing, which is a brush. This Photo Focus foundation is just so good, guys. It's such full coverage and it just goes on so smoothly. I normally use a beauty blender to blend out my foundation, but today I decided to use a brush and I just wanted to see how the brush blended out with this Wet n Wild foundation. So far, it is really pretty. I don't know, I feel like sometimes I get bored with my makeup if I do like the exact same thing every single time, like the exact same way of doing it and all of that. So I wanted to try a new technique. For my concealer today, I am using the Naked Concealer. So the reason I love this concealer is because it's really light and um, I don't really feel like it's on, but the coverage is really good. I'll be taking a beauty blender with this and blending it out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye with the Laura Mercier and also set my lids with it too because I already put the concealer, so I'm just gonna go ahead and set everything. For my cream contour, is is every day, every day. Milani Cream Contour Stick in the shade 02. It's the best. I'm just gonna go in with my Milani powder and just set my whole face. This obviously has been used because it has makeup all over it. For my eyes today, I'm going to be using the Morphe 350 palette and also the Supernova Shadow from ColourPop and the Morphe 350 palette. So the reason I wanted to use this palette was because it had a lot of the same warmer tones in it, just like the shadows, and I thought it would be a really good mixture for these. Okay, so that's what they look like, the Supernova shadows, and you can see how pigmented they are. So the first shade I'll be going into is this one right here. So I really just wanted to make this a good transition for what we're working with today. So you definitely wanna make sure that you're getting all the way into the inner corner of the eye. So now I'm going to go into this shade right here and it's a really pretty almost like a burnt orangey red and we're going to be going into the crease with that too. This is a huge deal for me to be working with such warm colors. I feel like this needs to go down in the books because I never work with colors this bold. And it is really okay if we get it onto the lid because the supernova shadows are really pigmented and they cover well. I think it'll just add extra pigmentation onto the lid. Okay, so with the shade up above it, I'm going to go ahead and take that same brush I did and take this shade right here. And it's a little bit more of a darker, more of like a burnt brown. And we're going to go ahead and put that into the crease also and just start building this smoky eye. Really give it that rusty shade. Okay, so now I'm just going to take one of these chocolatey browns right here, and I'm going to be going into the corner of the eye. Now I'm going in with the same colors I used in my eyelid. I have worked with these Supernova shadows before, and they dry pretty quickly, and they're really easy to work with. Um, the only thing is I kind of like to layer these shadows. They can be a bit thin, so I just want to kind of work with it. 
I don't know if my lighting can pick up how shimmery they are, but they are so shimmery, guys. They're so shimmery. Okay, now I might add this shade right here. Put it right in the middle of the lid just to kind of add a little bit of brightness. For my contour today, I'm going to be using the Hoola, and this is the original shade. I feel like this was a good warm shade to use with my eyeshadow. I'm going to be going in with Endless right here, and then it's a really pretty soft mauve rose. So I thought it would be really pretty with this eyeshadow, which is one of the reasons I wanted to do my eyeshadow first before the blush. They wanted to make sure that it would be something that would highlight it. Before I use my Becca highlighter, which I always use, I'm going to be spraying my face with the Make It Last Setting Spray by Milani. I've really been liking this one lately. After all these times of highlighting my face, I wouldn't be shocked at how pretty it is. But even then still shocked. I'm going to go ahead and start on my brows because they're driving me crazy. I am going to be using the ColourPop Brow Pencil and this is the Dope Taupe shade. And I really like it because of how precise the pencil is. It's very, very tiny and I feel like you can get a really good shape. For my brow gel, I'm just using the Essence Brow Gel. This is the shade Soft Brownie Brows and I always like topping this off just to kind of make sure they stay in place. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw on lashes really fast and then we are going to jump to the lips. For my lip color, I'm going in with BFF from ColourPop. This is my absolute favorite lip liner shade from ColourPop. And I think this is BFF 1, so this is like the original one they came out with. I have without a shadow of a doubt been through three of these already and it's only been a few months. I feel like it's the perfect pinky nude. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with Venice, and this is from Huda Beauty. Now this shade for me is really peachy, and has a tiny bit of that pink tone that we have up in my eyes. I also didn't want to do anything too bold. I wanted it to really blend well with my eyes, and just really complement everything. Alright, so that completes this look for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Don't forget to comment down below and tell me how you liked this and also any other suggestions on products that you may love. The Supernova shadows were absolutely the bomb. They were amazing. So I love the way they turned out. I love the brightness and sparkle and shimmer and these are great prices. So definitely go check out ColourPop and all of their new stuff that they have gotten in recently. Love you guys. I just, I love you guys. You keep me going. And thank you for all of your prayers. Also, had lots of prayers. Bye. Bye.